What's up, everybody? This is Carl from Tech Book Goodies, and today we are looking at this. It is an NVMe drive by Sanzang Master. Now, when they asked me if I wanted to take a look at this, I took a pause because I noticed what they're trying to do with this product is appeal to not only people who use something like a PS5, but also sort of high-end PC users. And if you're not familiar with like the NVMe format, it's basically just a very slim line SSD drive that you can use in your computer to increase the speed. You can use a mechanical hard drive, you can use a 2.5 inch external SSD drive, or you can use one of these, okay? So this is gonna give you the most speed for, or most bang for your buck, I guess. But like I said, I thought that this would be interesting to you all because it also is sort of tailored towards the PS5. So the PS5 uses the PCIe Gen 4 technology for their boards. Now there's three, two, three, four, there's even five out now. But what's going to happen is Gen 4 will continue to be very popular because of the PS5. And then you'll see more products like this come out that are specifically tailored A, to using in your PS5 or using in your high-end PC. So let's take a look at it here. Uh, this is their S7000. What that means is that you're supposed to so theoretically get... 7,000 megabytes per second transfer rate. Now that's a hugely high, that's a high transfer rate. So what we'll do is we'll make sure to install this into a PC, test it out, use a disk test to see how fast we can get it to go and just sort of put it through its paces. It does come with a heat sink here. Some motherboards nowadays will already have a heat sink built into their first slot. I'm gonna go ahead and use the second slot on mine and I'll show you that here in a minute so that we can try out this heat sink technology here. Now the way this specifically works is the fact that you can take this small little metal piece right here and put it on the bottom, what that's gonna do is hopefully transfer some of that heat away from the drive, as well as you can take the thermal pad here, remove the outer plastic there. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and add it here to the front of the drive itself. And this isn't super sticky, so whatever way you put this on, you can adjust it if you need to. There we go. So what you'll do is you go ahead and take this and this is basically transfer that heat away from the drive because what you'll find is that with the NVMe drives, they do tend to get extremely hot and they need that heat dissipation um, to make sure that they continue to function at their max speed. Click that on. And now we should be good to go. A couple more little stats here about this drive. Like I said, it, it is theoretically up to 7,000 megabytes per second. That is their extreme speed technology, which is going to be awesome if you're using that for your PC, for content, for any large files, moving them back and forth, or even loading programs, or using it for your OS. Alrighty, so now in order to install this, I am just going to slide the NVMe drive into this little NVMe slot here. Very easy to do and then bring it down. And hopefully you can see this, but we will use a screw to go ahead and screw it in here to my motherboard. I know this is gonna be a little bit difficult to see. I don't have a really great camera just to put down inside this computer, but at least you get the idea. Alrighty, so now that's installed into my machine. Uh, the heat sink's on there and it's all good to go. Let's boot her up and see if we can see it and use it. Now what I'm doing here is loading up Crystal Disk Mark. This is a read and write tester and this is in megabytes per second. So we should see around that 7,000 mark. What I need to do is go ahead and choose the correct drive. So you can see here on the left, the Sanzang Master NVMe drive is my D drive. So I'll go ahead and select that. And what I'll do is a test and I'll hit go. And what this is doing is basically copying to and from that drive. Uh, finding how fast you can read from it and how fast you can write from it. So right off the bat, there we go. You can actually see that it is reading at over 7,000 megabytes per second. And then the write speed, I guess we'll see here in a second how fast that is. Excellent. So that's over 5,000 megabytes per second write speed. So that is huge. Now I'm gonna do it one more time because like I said earlier, the thing that can actually slow down your NVMe drives is the fact that 
Uh, they do get hot and do get warm, and this is a very intensive test, so it looks like we're still up in the over 7,000 megabytes per second, which tells me that the heat dissipation from that heat sink is actually helping out a lot. So that's good. I just wanted to kind of give that follow-up test. All right, so what we're doing now is we're going ahead and running uh, Elden Ring. So it's basically, on the left side, you'll see it running off my hard drive, my basic C drive. And then on the right side, you'll actually see it loading off of the D drive. The benefit that you'll see is when you're actually loading into the games. Now, I don't have a good graphics card on this particular computer, so it's a little bit slow, but you can see how fast that loaded. So yeah, that actually looks like it's pretty impressive. Uh, it does give the speeds that we're expecting. So again, this is the Sanzang Master NVMe M.2 SSD. This is their S7000. It would work great for your PS5 and your computer. If you're interested, I'll leave a link down below and check it out. But until next time, this is Carl from Techful Goodies, and I'm out.